Hi, good morning. I totally forgot that I was gonna do like a, a tips for traveling with a baby kind of a thing. Um, so I already have like a lot of my suitcase packed, obviously, but it's mostly my clothes. Yeah, I still didn't pack that many clothes. I'm gonna be there for a week, but I only have like two pairs of shorts, two pairs of pants, and then like five shirts, I think. And then I have a sweatshirt there already. So whatever, that's not why you clicked on this video. I just wanted to talk about what I do like packing for a baby and like travel, my tips for traveling with baby and whatever. Because I'm going somewhere where I'll have a washing machine, I only packed two pairs of pajamas for Hazel just because like if one gets dirty, I can just wash it like during the day and then she can use, I can use that other one at night. I am bringing one outfit for every single day because I don't know for Hazel and because I don't know if she'll have like a poop explosion or what will happen with that. And then I just bring one extra outfit that I'll keep in the diaper bag. And then if she does have a poop explosion during the day, I'll just like wash that one just because I am going somewhere where I'll have a washing machine. If I was going somewhere where I wouldn't, I would probably pack the same amount of stuff. I would just maybe reuse old clothes unless they were dirty. Um, if she did have like a poop explosion or something or like needed a new set of clothes, I would just reuse ones that like hadn't gotten dirty to the point where they were poopy or like had food all over them or whatever. So now I just have to put Hazel's clothes in here. Then I'm just bringing one sweatshirt for Hazel because she probably won't get it dirty and she might not need it, but I'm just gonna pack it in here because I know she won't need it on the plane because it's gonna be really warm. She's never needed a sweatshirt on the plane, so. And I did pack a bunch of diapers. Then I'm gonna pack one bib. Should I go get that now? I need to pack a couple more diapers too. So like I already said, I pack always have an extra outfit in here for Hazel. And then I have a burp rag, just in case. And then her lovey, which she sleeps with. And then I've got some pacifiers. Pacifier clip deodorant for myself, which I can actually use right now. I have five diapers in here, so that's probably all I'll keep in there. I might put like two extra. Then I have obviously a half empty wipes. So I will take this out and I will put a brand new wipes in here put a brand new wipe in here and I think this is pretty much ready to go so this is how many overnight diapers I need but last time I brought one extra and I ended up having to use it so I'm like do I bring one extra and I think the most irritating thing about traveling with a baby is that you have to pack diapers but then once you come back you don't need your diapers or you you won't have your diapers so I will actually pack my water bottle in here just because I know I won't be able to use it on plane and it just takes up a lot of space in my backpack. All right, so I have pretty much all my stuff packed. I am going to pack the baby monitor. Um, so I obviously don't have that packed yet. And I have a book that um, I read Hazel every single night. Right, baby? Um, well, I guess I don't read it. It's a recorded book that her dad reads to her since he's gone um yeah so i'll pack that in here too and then i just have like my face wash my toothbrush and stuff that i need to pack but other than that um i'm bringing rain boots since i'm going to washington it'll probably rain i'm gonna wear my birkenstocks and then i'll have um my hiking boots that i already that i left at Teresa and justin's i'm not packing a sweatshirt because i also have a sweatshirt there that i left there white noise machine this is my white noise machine this white thing right here and uh, i left my portable white noise machine at Teresa and justin's because i knew i was gonna go back there so that is there. Um, as you can see, there's like a lot of diapers at the top and then like this whole bottom section has like a la layer of clothes just right on top, but the rest of that is diapers. So this is just a carry-on size. I haven't decided yet if I am going to 
use it as a carry-on or if I'm going to check it because it's only $30 to check it but that's $30 and if I check it though then I don't have to carry it around my airport which is kind of really nice like I wouldn't have a problem if I was like by myself but because I'll have Hazel I might check it I don't know we'll decide it I'll decide when I get there I think I decided this time I'm gonna bring my stroller which I didn't do last time it's just so much easier when you're at the airport to have the stroller um, and then in case we want to go anywhere that the stroller would be nice to have I will bring the stroller I don't know like what else I could tell you about traveling with a baby I just make sure that I have toys for the plane um, just in case she gets bored this is the carrier I have it's the ergo baby um, 360 but it's like the light one because um, it has like a bunch of mesh right here um, it's just it's supposed to be lighter weight and then also keep you cooler which I thought would be really nice for Hazel because she gets so hot all the time but um, they say this one is like portable friendly but it's really not it has these like big pieces that are like hard because of the parts that go around your waist I don't know there's just so many straps and everything it's just not as like portable friendly as I thought it was going to be I would definitely recommend if you can bringing a stroller most airlines will check your stroller for free at the gate which means like you can have it all the way up until you board the plane and then when you board the plane you just give them your stroller and car seats they'll do that for car seats too have you ever tried these they are like these like ice chips that's all i can explain it as they're just like these little chips of i don't know sugar <laughs> they're literally just xylitol oh man alive hazel i'm kind of nervous to travel tomorrow i did buy two plane tickets which i highly recommend if you are um traveling by yourself with a baby i'm flying delta and they still have the middle seat blocked off anyways but um, now I'll have a whole roll to myself. Actually, I checked in and me and Hazel's seats are not next to each other. Like, they're not in the same exact row. The aisle is separating us. We both have aisle seats and we're on either side of the aisle. I'm sure they'll change it when I, if I get up to the gate and ask. I'm a little nervous about flying tomorrow. Oh well. This is why I wore shorts because I'm already sweating and we didn't even get on the plane yet. I get so nervous when people see me taking video, but 
I'm excited to see my best. I think Hazel's a little tired, so hopefully she sleeps on the plane ride. We're supposed to take off in like 10 minutes, but I hope the flight goes quick. Okay, now she's just... Let's not do that. Okay, can I see this? It looks so much better in video. Drops my phone. The cool thing about what? Yeah, because we take too many. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 